All right, welcome to Monday, everybody. So let's get smashing it, all right? So we've got an exciting week ahead of us, and it's going to be exciting. And I think this excitement is going to start as at the Asia session. Let's take a look at usual gold, Euro dollar, Dow Jones, Bitcoin. Now with gold, surprise, surprise, guys. I think this is probably the lowest we will get with gold. So, and I'll tell you why. If you take a look at this, we're in a nice sideways motion here. And I think this is pretty much it. Now, gold's being suppressed by the central banks because, they, you know, as you know, they're using fiat currency. So gold is always a threat to fiat currency. So they're trying to sell a lot of gold and just trying to keep the fiat currency alive. But it can't work out because the more gold they sell, um, India, Russia, China, Middle East countries... Um, South American countries, they're buying it. So the, the, there's, you know, there are a lot of buyers out there. So this is not going to work, obviously. And as you can see, we've got a PST pullout over here. It's a beautiful breakout from last week. Now we are in this week, right? So look, this is very nice for us because we've got a pullback opportunity at 37.70, which is 17.35. So that's where we want to get to 17.35 is whoops there all right so this is going to be a good buy kiss zone now normally indicators won't give you a price okay because indicators are mostly wiggly lines but this one will all right so we're going to use the pst 30, 30 um, 1735 is where we want to get to this is the weekly pivot as well that's also a good location so any pullback as you can see here as well onto the blue line is good this zone is going to be a bit of a resistance this is a good impulse wave maybe we'll have a one two three four five and that will be a first wave then we'll have an a b c pullback and then it will be kingdom come going back up all right so be prepared for that i think there's a lot of money to be made the important thing is to get into the trade at your astro hours so today we're going to look for that pullback we're not going to rush the trades and as you can see We've got a target up there, okay, and that target on the daily is 65.27, 65.27, which is 17.78. Now these were, I put these up last week, 17.78, because we've still got room to go up, as you can see, that's your 17.78. On the weekly, look at that, that is 50. And that's 1827 and like I said there is a lot of money to be made be smart all right and follow it through all right now like I said if you don't know wave analysis we do a bunch of stuff at the Global Trader Club right we have to because you've got to be on top of the market including your pricing as well so we look at wave analysis demand supply and um, price formations we've got all of that stuff all right, so it's important you understand that as well because we should have a one, two, three, four, five, then an ABC, and then, like I said, Kingdom Come, it should all be going upwards, and then we should find ourselves up here somewhere, even back up here, there, these levels, as inflation goes higher and higher, as I predicted. Okay, so that's that. Now, this 4845 is still on the cards, which is 1738 and 1732. So what we can say is 17.32 is there and 17.38 is here. So this is a clear cut zone for us. All right. And it's good to take. If it pops down here, astrologically, if it matches our hours, go long. All right. That's how it is. Um, and the targets are there. Now we're in a new month. Okay, a new month means maybe, just maybe, we'll test the lows, all right? As you can see, this is pretty straightforward. Big up move, and you can see this is a rectangle formation, right? A price formation. So this is telling us that the market's taking a break, and at the lows, we want to be buying, okay? And that's what we were pushing for all the time, buying at the lows, and this should be heading upwards afterwards. Now, if I make this a little bigger, because the bar just opened, that's where it is, you see. Okay, so it may just do a bit of a test to fill out any blanks. Um, and 
to be honest with you, there's a bit of gap here that the market may want to fill up, okay, uh, and basically may pull back into that zone, which shouldn't surprise us. All right, euro dollar. Let's take a look at that. Okay, because it's Monday, it's the longest analysis of the of the week, right? So let's take a look. A new month, we're there. Now, last week, as you know, I was getting you guys to go long on this one. So going long on Euro Dollar is still what we want to do. Any pullback, look at that, into this zone again, um, would be good. But will it come there? 1.0050. We're going to keep it on the cards. 1.0050 because it's a price retracement okay and on the weekly though there it is 0050 on the weekly though it just doesn't look like it's going to pull back is it let me check this out on the monthly 24 and the lowest it did was 2694 1.0101 1.0101 there all right so we'll see this is not a bad spot to come back into because it will just fill up all the blanks and then push it up will be like you know it'll be good let's see though what we're going to do we're going to play both sides of the market or not now this is as you can see an impulse wave here bang bang and there's a breakout so we want to buy okay places to buy on the daily is here and there that's 42 1.0138 1 1.01 let's call it 40 1.0139 there so this is another location on the daily and that's basically it other than that 1.0193 1.0193 which is your weekly pivot so going long on the weekly is not a bad idea okay and any of these levels are good to go long on your astro hours okay so i'll be following up with gold and euro dollar all right as usual that's that let's take a look at us 30 guys targets have all been done this is just beautiful you know let's do this go back and forth so our pivots are all on the line let's get rid of these okay let's get rid of everything now then There's our target. See how the market just did that on Friday, and that's just your goodbye kiss there. A bit of a retracement is in order. Let's take a look at the monthly. Wow, look at that. Monthly is broken out. It's 50, 90, and 51, 20 was the lowest. So 50, 90 is at 32, 32. 624 wow it's just so high Poof. let's do a weekly let's see we should have a bit of a weekly pullback yeah those are those are levels for retracement so let's do this okay let's do this what have i got here 51 32 9 4 3 32 9 4 3 Nine, four, three. All right, so it's about here. So you could say that this is pretty much. Whoa. All right, we could say this is pretty. Much, I'm just trying to get it accurate, but it's just too tight. Okay, I'll just leave it there. Thirty-two, nine, four, three. That's that. Um, this needs a bit of a pullback, in my opinion, and then we'll go up. Okay, because this is a beautiful push up. We should be going up, guys, until autumn, and then, like, it's going to be good to sell. Okay, so pushing up a little bit more is on the cards, but a bit of a pullback is also a good idea where to pull back to. And then we've got 60. Where's that 60 going to take us? 
35821. 35821. Oh my god. 35821. That's a monthly target. 35821. There you Oops. There you go. That's a monthly target. All right. So let's pull. Wait for a pullback. This should fill in some blanks. We should come back down, I guess, to the weekly to this zone. All right, so don't rush your trade. It's a little too tight here. 67 on your daily is your first support, which is 32615. 32615 is right here, but this is a bit too close to the tops for comfort especially when you're here with these guys here let's take a look at 53 33 300 33 464 33 300 33 300 33 364 whoops 33 36 well, that's pretty close. There. Okay, so you got that zone there. Um, 33, 300, 33, 464, sorry. Silly me. 464. Whoops. There. Alright, so we've got a bit of range up there. And what else? 54, that's it, 52, 3,000, 33,011. That's it, it's 53 and 54. Okay, 33,011 is pretty much right there. 33,011 is there. Okay, so that's your first zone, that's your second zone. If the market goes up first, we're looking to sell, okay? And beware of your swing days um, for SP500 and NASDAQ because they're going to be the same, all right? So be mindful. We've got room to push up, but we must have a retracement is what I'm thinking before we go back up again, okay? And once that happens, we'll check it out again. And remember, when in doubt, stay out. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin made that level again. Now we're looking for, this is a good retracement. This is healthy, all right? Where do we want to get up to? That's a nice breakout there. We're at tops here. So a bit of a retracement back is good from these levels. See how it made those targets? This is why we use PST, guys. I mean, like, look at that. All of the targets done. And that's just beauty. That's beauty. All right, so let's get back into this. these papers flying around all right so that's that um, let's get rid of these these are done let's get rid of this we're in a new month so let's start with the monthly in a new month beautiful break of structure market fills all the gaps it's got one in my opinion it's got one dip to do slightly lower to fill out this gap and then this baby will not come back Okay, and then this baby won't come back. What have I got here on the 38? 14164. That is just exactly there. If it gets there, it won't come back again. 14464. Wow, will, it, will they do it? I hope they would. I wish they would. Fourteen four six four. If they do, I'm going in Bitcoin full on. Fourteen four six four, and that's it. This will be it. All right. Will it fall? Are we going to play both sides of the market? Why not? Why? Because I tell you why. Look, the market is in this 
down with stream. This is a good buy kiss zone, right? They're selling in a good buy kiss. I said we'd get into this blue zone. Came pretty close to there, okay? I said 25,000 there, as you can see, 25,200. The market made a high of what? 24,660. That's not bad. That's pretty close, okay? And I said this blue zone would be done. The blue zone has been done. All right. So now what? Now, first of all, let's get rid of this pinky, okay? Let's extend this across, okay? In fact, we can even get rid of this, okay? Because the only thing that's, that's really, that's the only thing that's really doing is left is this bit here, okay? Once this is done, okay? You see the goodbye kiss here, it's already been done. So the market pushes down. Once it pushes down, let's hope it'll get to 14. It'll be radical if it does. Do we want to sell from the tops? Yes. Okay, because if it's at tops, we want to sell. Okay, so let's take a look at how we're going to do that. That's on the monthly, on the weekly. What levels do we have? 37, 38, 40. 25, 550, 24, 750. So 24, 750. 24, 750. Well, it's pretty much done that one. Okay. That's pretty much that's done. Okay, you can say that's done for that one. The other one is at what 28? No, not 28. The other one is at 25 540. 25 540 is right there. Okay, that's good. Right there. Okay, if it does one more tap up there, then it'll be a good short, in my opinion. Um, because as you can see that will be doing that okay. it'll be like bang bang another one bang, down the okay. if we break below this if we break below the weekly look for a buy level in order to go up because that's what we want to be doing on the daily 44 that is too far down but we're going to mark it in 20, 21 6 8 8 20 once that's good level <clears throat> this is good okay we'll probably come down to this level this is good covers all the blanks beautiful support 21 6 8 8 is right there this zone is good all right and that'd be the lower like pretty much testing the low of last week okay so coming back down here is good it's good to buy if it doesn't come down here but it goes up first you want to be selling down if it doesn't go up but it comes down first and you want to be buying okay that's how it is hope that helps any dramas let me know